Now, if you're not getting what you want in the instant search, you can do an advanced search. An advanced search allows you to set up specific criteria. For example, if you know the exact date the document or file was created, you can do that as a criteria for your search or advanced search, including also location, the size of the file, the file name, tags, authors, and the search is performed manually because you actually have to set up the criteria. Now, the key thing that you want to know is that before you can do an advanced search, you actually have to do an instant search first. So go ahead and click on the Start button and click in the Instant Search and type in Gummy Bears again. And then after, go ahead and click on the Search Everywhere. And that will bring up my Advanced Search feature or option in the upper right hand corner. Now I'm going to minimize this because this Advanced Search is also, after I minimize it down to my taskbar, is also available in any of the folders. Double click on the folder to open it up. Go ahead and do an Instant Search in the upper right hand corner, Gummy Bears. And then you'll see down here you got the advanced search option as well. So I'm going to leave that open, but go back to my taskbar and click on this, the button for gummy bears that I did with my start button. And then click on the advanced search arrow to open it up. And like I said, you can choose date, saying, look, I know I specifically created this on the June 2nd. It's not any date, so I click on the drop-down arrow and I say it is actually created on, and then click on the drop-down arrow and go back and forth and June 2nd, then click off in a blank area, and then click on search. I'm going to set this back to any. If you know the size of the file, you want to make sure is less than, greater than, actually equals the kilobytes, 33. The name of the file, any tags within it, like maybe we tagged some of the documents with children, other tags like blueberry, gummy bears, and then any authors. And then just click your search and it'll filter it down below. So there's your advanced search. Now here's something. You can see down below I've got some Excel workbooks and I have some more documents. And you see there's the .dlc for documents or .xls for Excel. What if I just wanted the documents here? What I could do is in the name field I can click in here, hold down the shift key and hit the number 8 and it brings up the asterisk. Then type in after that .doc. Now it's going to be .doc for documents or .docx. The difference between the two is .doc is any document of Word 2003 or later. Um, Word 2003, Word XP, Word 2000. Office 2007 is the only one that has an X at the end of it, meaning that it's a more stable document. In other words, if there's instability on your computer, supposedly this is a more stable format. So again, you only see this in Office 2007. Previous versions of Word, it's always going to be without the X. Just think of it like also like Excel.xls. Now that's going to be just for Office 2003 XP and later. XLSX is going to be 2007 only. I'm going to go hit the back and just do XLS and do a search. And it only takes the search parameters the advanced search here and defines it and saying look I'm only gonna pull up Excel spreadsheets in other words to be more specific it's saying look I don't care about the name the asterisks anything in front of my extension here dot XLS just make sure it's an Excel spreadsheet I don't care about the name I don't even know the name all I know is it, that it's an Excel spreadsheet so that a little asterisk is a wild card that's probably more of a Windows Vista level 2 or level 3 but I thought that I'd throw that in there in any case to keep it simple just go ahead and set up your advanced criteria here and click search when all is said and done you can always close out of that and just close out of the search altogether and of course you do have your advanced search remember when you open up a folder click on that and it brings it up above and it's got the same fields here one final thing that you may want to take note is that the top bar here allows you to search only for emails or only for documents or only for pictures that have gummy bears in them or for music or other. So this will help you define it without having you to actually click in the name field here and type in asterisk.doc for all documents of Word 2003 and later or .docx for 2007. This will include all documents if you just click on that and filter by all documents. Of course, you may want to keep this in mind, this advanced search feature, because, again, up at the top, it only limits it to email, documents, pictures, music, and other, where that's why I wanted to give you the .x, .xls for spreadsheets, 2003 XP and later, or .xlsx for 2007. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.